Today I'm remaking the infamous Google Chrome Dino game in 3D. So first I opened up Unity and created a new 3D project called Quest the Beast to a Dinosaur. Then I added a ground to the world, I looked for 3D dinosaur models and stole this one and imported it into Unity. And this is what we ended up with. Wait. Wait, what the oh. Then I made a walking animation for the dinosaur so it doesn't look completely still while moving and positioned the camera right above its head. Then I changed the ground color and at this point the dinosaur was looking pretty basic. So I applied a new skin to it, changed the XY tiling and I think it looks pretty cool now. Now, I know half of the dinosaur is under the ground, but who cares, the player will never know. Thanks to how the camera is positioned, the player will only ever see the top part of the dinosaur. Then I tried out some new ground textures, new skyboxes, and then I added some cactuses. Cactuses? Cacti. Anyway, then I wrote some logic for the dinosaur to move forward and to be able to jump. And as you can see, I definitely wrote all of that with one finger. So you should definitely subscribe and turn on notifications, because most of the world aren't subscribed to me. And this is a huge problem. <laughs> but seriously, please consider subscribing because it's just a button and it helps me out a ton. Anyway, after doing some testing and tweaking, I added some mountains so the game would look less empty. Now I needed to show a restart button when the player died. So I opened up the real Chrome Dino game and just like that, hippity hoppity, your button is now my property. <laughs> Then I wrote some more code which I won't bother explaining to you guys because I'm not even sure how it works. Then I added some new cacti to the world and some finishing touches and this is what the game looks like so far. Now I didn't want to make this game an endless runner so I decided to add a final boss. Now what boss could a dinosaur go up against? <laughs> yeah, so I may have decided to add a meteor shower as the final boss. So how does the dinosaur beat the boss, you ask? The same way they did 65 million years ago. By going extinct. <laughs> yeah, so that's what happens at the end of the game. Press the beast to a dinosaur. After that, I made an app logo in Figma and this is what that looks like. Join my Discord server, I'll link it in the description. And please subscribe with notifications. Quest the beast to a dinosaur, nigga. Pterodactyl mixed with a T-Rex. T-Rectodactyl.